I'm not sure which way it is so I think this is the top up here so let's have a look oh. <laughs> hey guys this is my only day off no tell a lie I have a day off Thursday but it's going to be chaotic and um, so I am literally trying to get this video rushed because I've got a million things to do I've got to go and take Daniel to work in a bit and then I've only got today and I can't do much Thursday today to get a little housework done so hi <laughs> It's a me, your Harry Potter YouTuber. YouTuber. Um, so I went to the Harry Potter Studios this weekend. Um, obviously a week ago I did the video, those two videos, and that video I think it was Thursday. It was a really bad day. Um, everything seemed to just hit me at once. It was like a bottle of pop that somebody put a load of Mentos into, and it just exploded. And that basically was my emotions and my mental health last week. Um, so it was a really difficult week last week. And then obviously I got my lips done, which look freaking amazing. I'm sorry, my lips look fantastic. So thank you very much, Kelly. You did a brilliant job. And it just kind of, I don't know, gave me a little bit of a, a lease of confidence for a little while. And I say a lease because I don't know how long it's going to last, if you know what I mean. Um, my confidence so everything else has been a bit um, a bit better um, I wasn't going to go to the Harry Potter studios because I wasn't sure how my mental health would be and then I, I changed everything and I went with Monica and Monica was my plus one and she came with me obviously Janice, Carol, Maria, Richard were all there as well and Julie joined us as well and I wasn't brilliant going into the studio tour but then I was okay I calmed down I didn't go through the crowds I went straight into the Great Hall which if you have mental health or disabilities they are so accommodating um, and so obviously they um, allowed us then to be taken through to the Great Hall and I saw the Great Hall in the most beautiful beautiful state I mean this has to be my favorite Great Hall experience I mean just look at how beautiful this looks it is absolutely incredible and I think I really really think and I really really hope that Warner Brothers Studio leave those candles up now permanently because they were so incredibly beautiful and, and and that's how we know the Great Hall that is when we think of the Great Hall we think of floating candles and chanted ceiling and all that sort of thing and it was absolutely breathtaking so what an amazing experience now obviously I was I, I'm trying to be good in the shop in general however because Monica works for Warner Brothers, we got discount. <laughs> so obviously we took advantage of that little nitpick there. So um, I have got some amazing items to show you and some firsts as well. So the shop had a few new things in it. Now the first thing I am going to show you was not bought from the shop. But it was given to be by my given to be given to me by my friend Julie. I absolutely love it. She created it for me, and I haven't done it today because I've gone straight into the video. It says I'm going to put it back before I break it, and she's done a list of ones on there. So Julie, this is so beautiful. I think this is amazing. She's actually drawn this here. I thought it was printed. It's not. This part part is but this part isn't and I just absolutely love the detail that she went into for this I'm gonna have to try and find somewhere to put it now I have no idea I don't know whether I should put it like there or something with my wands because it's like such an iconic thing that I say although I haven't said it in this video but I love it I'm literally gonna put it there so I can look at it while I'm doing this video it's so so fantastic and I've just noticed it's the exclusive ones as well so you've got the Sword of Gryffindor the Hufflepuff cup the Ravenclaw diadem a diadem of Ravenclaw sorry it's the locket of Slytherin Gryffindor mascot Hufflepuff mascot Ravenclaw mascot and the Slytherin mascot that's really really lovely I love how you've done that honey that's that's so good. You're so clever. I'm so pleased with it. I just don't know what to do with it. I don't know where to put it. 
So regarding my videos, now obviously I'm not going anywhere. I'm still doing YouTube. I'm still doing social media. I'm just not going as doing as much as I I was before all of the stuff happened three months ago. Just because my mental health isn't uh, obviously it isn't brilliant, and I need to kind of focus on making myself a hundred percent. But I'm also working full time now, so I'm working. I'm not saying where because it's nobody's business but mine. Um, but I'm working and I'm training to be management, and it's kind of like like this week now I've got so many shifts in so many days I'm doing double shifts sometimes and as much as I love my job I love my co-workers um, I am literally just going to focus on that and obviously doing videos in between now I have got items being sent to me there is an item that I should be receiving any day now but I think I'll try and do that for next week instead so I'm looking at maybe one video a week rather than three or two um, so just so you guys know I don't want to push myself too far but you guys you know you've supported me so much over the last few months and I you don't know how much that means to me you know that that's something that people only dream about having support wise and my support network you know my kids my family my friends you know you guys are all amazing this weekend was so badly needed it was scary to go but it was so badly needed so thank you very much for having me this weekend so I did spend a bit of money I didn't go too crazy easy because even though I'm working full time I'm I'm I've got no room literally I'm touching boxes now there is literally boxes here of a load of stuff my table is full there's still DIYs that I want to complete and I won't be able to do them for a while I've got a fantastic idea for Umbridge as well and I've got some things to go with that to go on that DIY and I have no idea when I'm going to be able to get it started but I'm hoping I will have time this week I actually thought I had time I thought I was only working in two days I was looking at the wrong rotor um so I'm working a lot more this week so I'm gonna get started so we never do photos in the studios we haven't done them for years and I literally said to Mon I said should we do photos today we never do the photos that they've got there because they've got the brooms they've got the undesirables they've got all that sort of thing and I really wanted to just do something different that I hadn't done for a long time so we went and we did photos we all did photos so this one oh that is tough this is the poster that me and Monica did because she is just amazing she's my rock at the moment and uh, I absolutely loved doing this. We even have a video. I won't put it on here, but I will try and put it on um, the VA of the girls playing Quidditch in the back lot. <laughs> literally playing Quidditch with brooms and everything right they were playing Quidditch in the back lot they dressed as Quidditch players and Madam Hooch and they were playing Quidditch in the back lot cafe area you know outside by the um the night bus and Privet Drive and everything so you will have to be a VA member to watch that video but that was absolutely hilarious and literally yelling blowing whistles it was just so funny honestly the interactors just like leave them to it now I think because I mean, oh, is it 68th? Maria's 68th visit, 68th visit on Saturday was. Uh, mine was 38. So, you know, we go a lot. So this is the post that me and Monica had done. <laughs> How brilliant is that? Absolutely undesirables. That is just so much fun. So I'm going to put that up in here i'm going to change the color of it around the edges but i absolutely love that monica in a hufflepuff outfit and me in my hogwarts legacy outfit just absolutely freaking love it so speaking of my hogwarts legacy outfit right i was so excited to go as a hogwarts legacy student because i blooming love that game i live on that game i am doing so well on that game because i've never i haven't played games since like 2006 you know what i mean it's like ugh. um it's like hand, handing me a spider when you hand me the remote control but hogwarts legacy is just so addictive it's dangerous right you know the rest of your life just goes out the window yeah and so i was literally told by so many interactors that i was the first hogwarts legacy student that they had seen at the Harry Potter tour because I was in the Delaney and Key robes. I had my key, okay, and my wand, right? So this is amazing, this key, all right? So it does open. Yeah, so the key comes out and it lights up as well. I don't know if I can, yeah, you can see it. 
so it lights up and it strobes all different colours and everything. It's quite light in here so you won't be able to see it properly. So I went all proper around my Delaney and Key robes with all my bits and bobs, so pleased. And I was told by multiple interactors that I was the first, okay? So I put it on social media saying, apparently I was the first Hogwarts student to be at the Harry Potter studios. And then this one person got really snotty with me, having a go at me, because I apparently was not the first person to dress up in Hogwarts legacy robes. And um, there was another YouTube did it last year for the opening of the greenhouse. That's why, woman, right, okay? There's no need to get snotty with me, darling, because that's why I put apparently... I was the first person to be there. I'm not about to go scrolling through social media to check that I am the first person. I put apparently. I was so proud with my cosplay, right? But honestly, people like you shouldn't be on social media, okay? So bye-bye, love, bye-bye. It doesn't make any difference. I'm sorry, I bloomin' loved my cosplay. Everyone else loved my cosplay. I had people chasing after me to find out where I got my cosplay from. I think I was, I needed to lose weight a bit more because the waspy that I wore was really tight. The freaking costume, okay? Look at this photo. <laughs> These boots were over, they're, they're thigh high boots. They were only like 14 pound I paid for them, right? They were so cheap. But Monica, bless her, was my lacy up person, okay? Because the laces that they provided were too short. So I then had to dye normal string, yeah? With hair dye, because it's all I had on me at the time, the day before I was due to leave. So I'm literally in the kitchen dyeing everything. Then the next day, bless, Monica's doing up my boots because they took forever to do, because it's all eye holes, all the way up the boots, all the way to the top. It was a blooming nightmare. So got managed to get them done. Then I managed to, I, I didn't get the shirt I ordered. The, I ordered this really nice, like very kind of Hogwarts Legacy style shirt with all the ruffles and the ruffles on here. So it would have looked really cool. Didn't arrive till today. Bit late now, isn't it? So it arrived today. So literally I wore um, a normal black, like um, cheesecloth shirt that I bought from Primark for work underneath my waspy with a pair of leggings on with these thigh high boots on with my amazing new robes from fun.com which i had to sew all the cord and everything onto because it came terribly wrapped so i had to do all of that which wasn't a huge problem because i do enjoy sewing anyway i did my hair similar to my character in hogwarts legacy and i freaking just absolutely smashed it i freaking smashed it on the weekend i even have monica's friend telling us oh queen yes queen and all this sort of thing so emily thank you very much <laughs> She told me, you go, girl. Uh, but yeah, thank you, Emily. But I blooming loved it. I absolutely loved my cosplay. I freaking loved it, everything about it. I'm so doing that cosplay again. But maybe I'll try the shirt this time. So yeah, to people who saying, you know, <laughs> I'm not about to waste my time licking on social media. Yeah, I'm just going off what I'm told. And uh, and if you don't like it, find another YouTuber to watch. Yeah, bye-bye. Um, anyway, so we had a real fun time because they do these little, like when they do celebratory stuff, yeah, um, for Hogwarts, and, like different like celebrations, you can make things. So if you go to Platform 9 3 Courts, you can actually make things. So they've had things like uh, the Monster Book of Monsters, Ron's Howler. Uh, what else have I seen them do there? my brain's gone now but they now do like do you know when you're in school and you do those things it's like um you do them in school and it was so easy to make them well this is one of those and I gave my made one to Julie because she'd missed out and so I kept the one that hadn't been made so I gave her that one and I've got this one so I'm going to keep that with the other pieces that I've got and uh maybe I'll make it I don't know so in the Forbidden Forest the Forbidden Forest shop is hardly ever open and when it is open you make a freaking bee line for it do you know what I mean it's like everyone go 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 this is not a drill this is not a drill it's open it's open it's like and everybody goes there because normally they have things that they're getting rid of like for sales stuff like that items that they're just getting rid of stock wise but this time they had the new in celebration in celebration of the a new Harry Potter studio being opened in Japan Tokyo, Tokyo Japan and um, they have now done like um almost like a, a Japanese style professor collection and then obviously Hogwarts student collection. So the, they don't sell these online. They only sell these in the shop. They sell a lot of the collection online, but they don't sell the items with umbrage on 
online. So the first thing I did was go to the shop and I grabbed these magnets to get the umbrage because this is the same umbrage design as on the tea set and you know I love umbrage so as much as I love the other professor items Dumbledore's is beautiful by the way I wanted the umbrage so I got umbrage they also did a um, a really gorgeous travel mug because I do travel a lot and I do use my travel mugs because I like going to Costa and they give you cheap they give you money off if you have your own mug and so I did pick up this travel mug with the same umbrage design on it as the the new tea set that she released but also on this you have Professor Snape and you have the Dumbledore as well but how beautiful are these gold de the gold detailing around the top how stunning is that I love that so I've also got that for my umbrage display and then this was Maria's fault it's your freaking fault woman yeah but I'm really glad I did get it in the end because I think this is something that I would have regretted not buying. Now, obviously, I don't think that this set's going to last long. It's literally until it's gone. So if you haven't bought these items and you're not sure about it, if you're going to regret it once it's done, then get it now because this is, this is it. Once it's sold, that's it. They're not bringing them back. It's just for the celebration of the Tokyo launch. So then we've got this beautiful glass bottle with the same gold patterns all over it. So you've got Umbridge, obviously Professor Snape, and then Professor Dumbledore there. This silicon base comes off. It's literally just to protect the glass because this is glass. That was £22. I did think that was a little bit pricey, but we had Monica's discount, so I was very pleased about that. So then we move on to the next bag. So I was, I tried to be very, very good. I tried not to go too nuts, which was really hard when you go at the studios because I used to like just go there and just get everything and anything, but I'm trying really hard. Plus Harry had asked for a chocolate frog and a blood pop. Yeah, I said, what would you like? A chocolate frog or a blood pop? He said, both please. <laughs> Cheeky bugger. Um, but he got both because he's my baby. So obviously back in may was it may april april the new tea set came out for dolores umbridge um which we all fell in love with most of us fell in love with obviously as some of you were a bit disappointed that it wasn't cats i can understand that i really can however we really loved it and we bought multiple you know we bought the entire tea set of 150 pound to basically um celebrate umbridge because even though she's evil and horrible emilda staunton is incredibly brilliant in that role and she is a fantastic actress who deserves to be celebrated so what I did is I obviously got the 150 pound set which was all of the set the two tea and uh, two cup and saucer sets the teapot the um tea bag um little bowl um a cake display and what was the other thing oh my god my brain's gone a milk jug I think that was it wasn't it now what i want to do is because there's obviously there's five of us in this family i want to get enough for all of us so even though i only used it during the the, the king's coronation here's the photo from that i wanted to have more of the sets so we could have them as a family for very special occasions and i'm starting to kind of build up the set so on the weekend because of the discount i got two more cup and saucers so I now have four cups and four saucers. I will then get another two again as well. And then I'm going to get some more plates. So these were £40 for two for a cup and saucer set um, twice. Um, and then the plates then are £25. So I'm really glad I picked these up. I've got my tea set down underneath the table. They're all boxed and ready to go and to keep safe. But, uh, but yeah, I will definitely keep hold of these because these are something that I would like to use on incredibly special occasions. I mean, what's more special than the King's coronation or like a birthday or Christmas or, you know, so the best tea set I ever, the be best afternoon tea I've ever had was the one I did for the King's coronation because I had everything. I had all of the amazing um, things for that incredible celebration. Not a huge fan of Charles, but it was worth celebrating just because we'd never seen it um before so it was definitely worth it worth it celebrating so i got that 
Monica was incredibly naughty because they have some new bags there. Now, these were released online a few weeks ago. Now, what I did is they've got a gorgeous dark arts, like mobile phone bag with like card slots and everything in it. It's only about this big and I really liked it. And I thought, Do you know, what? I keep seeing it. It's £40 and I keep seeing it. So I put it on, I wore it. I thought, let's just put it on and see how I feel. And then Maria saw this bag and I was just like, oh, I don't know. So I picked up this bag and I'll show you in a minute. I picked up this bag and I put it on with the other bag and I kept it on. And I was shopping with Julie around the shop and I said, right, I said, okay, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that, I'm gonna get that. And I know I've gotta get that, but I'm gonna put them bags back because I don't need bags. I've got so many bags, I don't need bags. Even though I am a dark witch, I don't need bags, I've got so many, I'm gonna put it back. So I put them down and I was really proud of myself and Julie was like, come on now, Vic, walk away, walk away from the bags, walk away. I was really proud of myself and I was like, I do that, you know, I'm so proud of proud. I walked away from the bags. Anyway, I went and bought all my items, right? Me and Julie then sat down to have a drink. She bought me a bottle of water, thank you very much, my darling. Um, we sat down and, and had a drink while we were waiting for everybody else to finish in the shop. And Monica comes out of the shop and she literally takes it out of her bag and hands it to me. So, I got the Chamber of Secret bag. You are so naughty, but I love you for it. This is so kind of you. Um, it was £40, obviously she gets discount, but what really did it for me, and I think Maria was the same actually, what really did it for me was at the top of this bag, it says, the Chamber of Secrets has been opened, enemies of the air beware. And also here is a little sword of Gryffindor charm on the zip to open and close it. Now I've opened it here because I've got the strap in it. So let me take the strap out. It is a really, really nice bag. I really, really love this. I love the other one as well. But Monica did a good job choosing this one for me because I really, really love this one. And then you've got the basilisk on the back as well. Now they've got a whole new set for the Chamber of Secrets being released. And I have a few items. So you've got this one. They did a really lovely hoodie, a really lovely notebook. And they also did this as well. Me and Julie just literally went and made a beeline for it. So this is the t-shirt. And you know I love my t-shirts. I have so many freaking t-shirts, but this was the t-shirt that they've done. The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air beware, but it's in like um like a plastic. So it's it's like it's a raised like blood. It's really well done. Then you've got the basilisk in felt. So it's a little bit dusty on the felt side, but you've got the basilisk there, but the basilisk goes all the way round to the back. And on the back then you've got the Chamber of Secrets door. How amazing is that by John Richardson who created this door and is the only gentleman who can work it. How beautiful is that? Absolutely freaking love that t-shirt. Now it is a double XL which means it's going to drown me but it's either that or a, uh, or a medium or a small and there's no way I'm going for small and tight. I can't have that. It'll have to be something that is really baggy. So that was lush. That was £22. So I thought for a t-shirt in the studios that the quality of it as well is very, very good. It's a lovely, lovely material. It's soft but it's also not too thin or not too thick. It's very nice indeed, but I wouldn't put it in the tumble dryer because of the writing and you don't know what's going to happen to the felt and the basilisk as well. So just be very careful if you buy it. But I absolutely love this t-shirt. Now I know they do these online, so I will put the links down below in the video description. There's another item that you can get at the moment only with the activity, uh, only with the blah, 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 Discovering Hogwarts event is the post the the uh passports so you go around and you stamp inside the pass uh, in passports you've got a little stamp that you can put in just there as you go around now i do have quite a few of these i did get a little bit excited so i may do a giveaway and give you them because you can only get them during the um event itself i don't remember them doing this nail varnish i have the pink version i don't think i've got the blue version so i went and bought it 
look at that how pretty is that i'm sure i don't have it so i did buy the luna lovegood nail varnish it's 5.95 i think it is but what a stunning color is that so i do have that to go on my nails right this next wand is something that people are desperate for now please 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 there are items on eBay. These ones are being sold on, e sold on eBay for ridiculously high prices. I think I was told, Maria told me that I um, that somebody bought one the other day for £700. It's absolutely shocking when there are personal shoppers out there that will do it for you. They will literally go, they will get the wand and they will send it to you for the price that basically they charge for it, £33. That's it. It's £33. And the fact that people are being charged an absolute astronomical amount of money is disgusting. This is the new Time Turner wand from the Warner Brothers Studio. It's only available at the Warner Brothers Studio tour in London. And obviously at the end there, you can see that it says Time Turner wand. I hope that that was in focus because I can't see from here. So obviously I love the purple. Inside you have the card that will say on there, the Time Turner. And I will show you the wand now. It is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. I was told that it might not be brilliant quality, that it might look a little bit cheap. I didn't, I didn't care. I wanted it regardless. I'm not sure which way it is. So I think this is the top up here. So let's have a look. Are you ready? Now there is something you need to know about this wand, okay? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It is absolutely gorgeous. Now what you need to know about this wand is there is no supporting rod inside this wand. There is nothing. It's incredibly flexible. Now apparently the reason for that we were told is because of this part here. They couldn't twist this if there was a metal rod inside. There is no metal rod inside the wand. So you have to be very careful with it, but it is very flexible. It reminds me of the Salvador Dali paintings. How beautiful is that? That is absolutely stunning. It's just gorgeous. So this is only available at the Harry Potter shop. It was honestly the only, th the first thing I went in, I grabbed it and I went and I paid for it. I didn't even get discount from this because Monica wasn't with me at the time. I just wanted to go and get it quickly. I love the fact that it's got the writing on the edges there, look. How beautiful is that? It's really pretty. I haven't actually taken anything out of my bags since the studio tour. So it's really, really lovely. I mark the hours, everyone, nor have I yet outrun the sun. My use and value unto you are guarded by what ha what you have to do. It's so, so pretty. I love the, like, the, 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 um, almost like the mirrored kind of, not mirrored, the uh, moon kind of look, the fluorescent look of the time turn apart. It's really pretty, but I'm going to put it back before I break it. <laughs> so that is all of the items that I have bought from the Harry Potter studios on my last visit. My next visit then will be in October and then again in November. Crazy in October we're going with Sandy. I cannot wait, honey. And we're going for afternoon tea. We're properly being spoiled. So it's going to be an amazing trip indeed when we get to finally meet you in person. But there we go, that is everything. Let me know in the comments below what did you think of my haul and also what do you think of the new time of my videos at 10 at ten o'clock, no, at seven o'clock in the evening rather than six because I think more people have time to sit and watch then, don't they? Um, so let me know in the comments below. Until next time, please stay magical, remember to stay magical and I love you all.
want to check out more of my content, take a look at this video right here or this video right here. Don't forget to like and subscribe.